Hello guys, welcome to this lecture. Today we'll see how to do logging in files. To write your logging information to a file, you would have to use apache.log4j.file appender. So file appender configuration has following parameters. First one is immediate flush. This is a flag which is by default set to true, which means the output stream to the file being flushed with each append operation. It means that the output stream to the file being flushed with each append operation. Encoding. It is possible to use any character encoding. By default, it is the platform specific encoding scheme. Next property is threshold. The threshold level. You could set the threshold level for each and every appender along with the level which is set at the root level. File name. This is the name of the log file. File append. This is by default set to true, which means logging information and being appended. By default, it is set to false. Buffer size, if buffered input output is enabled, it indicates the buffer size. By default, it is 8 KB. We could also do logging in multiple files. This is called rolling files. Whenever your logging file reaches maximum size, you know it would be difficult to load that data and th that file would become really heavy. So what the uh, developers have done is they have come up with the rolling files method. When a file reaches a particular size, then what we do is we roll out. I mean, you create additional files I mean, and all the old data is dumped to that file. The log files, when they reach maximum memory, the old log files will start getting deleted. So to write your logging information into multiple files, you would use rolling file appender class which extends the file appender class and it inherits all its properties. One of the properties is maximum file size. This is the critical size of the file above which the file will be rolled. Default value is 10 MB and maximum backup index. This property denotes the number of backup files need to be created. The default value is 1. So if we set, let's say if we set maximum permissible size of each log file is 5 MB, Upon exceeding this maximum size, a new log file will be created. Also, if let's say if we have set maximum backup index as 2, then once the second log file reaches the maximum size, the first log file will be erased and thereafter all the logging information will be rolled back to the first log file. And let's take another scenario where you want to log daily, daily uh, information in the file. So daily log file generation. There may be a requirement to generate your log files on a daily basis to keep a clean record of your logging information. So in that case, you would use daily rolling file appender class, which is also again a subclass of a file appender and it inherits all its properties. Along with that, it comes with another property date pattern. This indicates when to roll over the file and the naming convention to be followed. By default, rollover is performed at midnight each day. There are several different patterns which you could use in, in order to schedule your rollover. I will be attaching all of these information and you could go through it.